All right, let's get this started. Name's Baron. We're gonna get started with this daily grind. Uh, just gonna go through the basics of my daily grind and what I do to uh, make gold every day. So first thing we're gonna do is we'll hop into whatever character you want. You're gonna want as many character slots as you can handle. Most people do like four because it's like half the number of character slots you normally get in the game and it's not not so hard. It's easy to just grind through them and get them done. You can still make quite a bit of gold doing that, but I have nine character slots, so I bought one. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use our handy dandy little beam me up tool here to pour it on over to Somerset. Somerset's real handy for the jewelry uh, crafting. You might not think that you need jewelry crafting, but you can make a lot of gold doing it. Um, not probably not in the way that you would think. Probably not in the way that you would uh, expect to make gold crafting jewelry. So we'll go through it, and I'll show you guys what I do. All right, we're loaded in. A little bit of lag, as usual. Go directly to the crafting stations. You guys are going to see me try to do that multiple times today. Alright, then here's the rip boards. You get these uh, certified by in your base city and in Somerset you can get certified once you reach level 6 to do consumable crafting rents and equipment crafting rents. So I use Lazy Rick Crafter, he just busts through those little dialogues there, gets them done. Real easy, come over to the enchanting table, you open it up, crafts the enchantment. Boom, done. Come over here to the jewelry table, same deal, crafts the jewelry. Same deal, coming over here to clothing station. And I'll show you guys how much gold I have on me before this and after all this. I'll do a little calculation, so it might take me a little bit. Clothing is now done. The only thing you'll run into eventually is you'll run out of style stones. But style stones you buy. Um, we'll let you guys in a little secret here. Uh, any of the blacksmiths and any of the woodworkers sell the style stones. Don't be buying style stones off of a guild store. They're right here. They're all right here. 15 gold each. Don't be buying them off the guild store. Don't be, don't be, don't be derpy. All right. I mean, look at this one. 24, to 19 to 24. Uh, 19 to 24. Uh, it, Master Merchant says 39. Uh, Master Merchant says 22. This Master Merchant says 25, 21. So yeah, don't be buying them off of the the guild store. Buy them off of the the blacksmith here. He has all the style stones you need. So continuing on, we're going to finish up our blacksmith survey here, or blacksmith writ, I should say. Alright, get that done. And then, here comes the magic. Um, essentially, we open up our banker. If we have a banker, that's fine. If not, we just run up to the banker. You can actually hit up the uh, uh, horse stable while you're up there. Um, banker is amazing. I love the banker. It's one of my favorite purchases. We'll open the banker and you'll see down here in the chat box, you see the lazy Rick Crafter has retrieved the damage stamina poison, the fruit and cheese plate, and the mothra, mother's uh, remorse. Uh, he retrieves that from the bank and then you go turn in your writs. Go here, go here, go here. All right, so here's how it works. This is this is the magic happening right now. All the magic's happening. All right, so it looks like we got a sealed provisioning writ for two vouchers. Can definitely make that super easy. Got a draw wax. Uh, I got one draw wax, so we'll we'll pull up the calculator and do a little math here. 
a supervisioning rate that would be 1,700 plus the draw the draw wax which is another plus uh, six thousand uh, plus the clother survey which we'll get to uh, CUDA is 2.5 not 25,000, 2.5. And then the woodworker survey is another 1,600. All right. And then uh, what we do is we can close out that seal work where we went. We'll open up the banker once more. And this is still in the first character. Speak with me a moment. All right, and then we deposited 4,648 back down to the 5,000. All right, so then we're adding 4,600. 12,000 on one character that we just made. All right, easy peasy. Not bad, not bad at all. So then what we do is we immediately log out. Um, this character already has all the, all the, uh, stable master done this tune has all the stable master done so you won't see me doing that on this character but uh the other ones don't so you'll see me do the full run with those um very simple way to make gold and you'll notice that this character that i'm that i was just playing on is a max level crafter so your writ uh your rewards from the writs may vary Actually, they will vary. Uh, some days you get more, some days you get less. Many days you get, you know, very little. I shouldn't even say many days you get very little. Some days you get very little. Um, it just depends. It just depends on RNG and how, how lucky you are that day. That was actually a pretty lucky drop I just got from that, that character there. So let's move on to the next one and see what we get. I made roughly 12 grand already on the first character and the first character alone. So that is good. Not counting the clothier survey we got, which we could potentially get more draw wax out of. And if I'm pronouncing these wrong, don't don't be mad. Just don't be mad. It's fine. Nothing's nothing's going to change it. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, same deal as before, we poured to Somerset. We can actually do the, the round on the way out here. So we can go, go to the horse and then go to the crafting stations. And it, it when if, I'm, if I wasn't explaining everything along the way, it would go a lot faster for me. So it's a matter of, I'm explaining all this stuff as I'm going. So I'm taking a little bit more time than I usually do. Oh. All right, we're in Somerset. Hop on your horse here. Oh yeah, that's awesome. We're just gonna run on top of the horse because that is how horses work. And this isn't really a horse, it's a bear. So, makes sense. We run on top of the bear. It's on fire, so, understandable. Come over here, right over here to the stable master. Plop something in there. And then what we're gonna do, since I am trying to figure out how much I'm making off these daily writs, we're gonna go ahead and preemptively pop our banker here. Speak with go ahead and withdraw that 250 coin we just spent on the force upgrade. So now we're at an even 5k again. And then proceed on down to the crafting you stations. You challenge me to a duel. How droll. But then, how can we have a proper contest? These guys really because want to duel. Off. All right, getting the crafting stations now. Oh, the flip. 
All right. So same deal as before. We pick up all the crafting writs. Start enchanting. Enchantment is done. Woodworker. On to the woodworker. All right, woodworker is done. Easy peasy. Clothing. Easy peasy. Next is uh, woodworking. Easy peasy. All right, next is the blacksmith. All right, our bank is already out, so let's talk to the banker. Pick up the rest of the junk. Ta-da. Picked up a sip of rabbit stamina, grape preserves, and clarified sar Syrah wine. Uh, that completes those provisioning and alchemy quests. And let's see what we get. I'm going to start from this side this time. Pick it up. Nope, well, we got a recipe out of it, but I don't think we got anything good out of it. Yeah, see, that's... That happens sometimes. That is... The power of RNG. Didn't get... Well, we got a chromium grains out of it. I will I will take the chromium grains, because that's pretty good. I think we got chromium grains out of that last one, too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, or not chromium grains, sorry, iridium grains. Alright, iridium grains. Iridium grains. Yeah, we definitely got a radium grain. So, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. well, I had 500. I had 500 of that. Um, that's that's generally what happens. Um, you know, sometimes we get garbage out of it. Sometimes we get just flooded with good stuff. So, on to the next one. Uh, and just to, just to, just to prove a point here, um, the surveys the surveys are really where you make all the all the gold off of um, the raw resources you get plus the opportunity to get things like an ethereal dust out of the surveys, which is confirmed by me and my wife that you can pick an ethereal dust which is worth 100k out of just a survey. If it's in a main main zone non DLC zone and you do the survey. Uh, you have a chance to pick up a very, very, very pricey and worth it ethereal dust. The ethereal dust goes from anywhere from 105k to 125k. Um, it can go a little less, uh, but I just sold one yesterday for 107.5. So, and it went instantly. It was gone before I even got back to my house. I like I put it up on the guild store and by the time I went back to my house it was already gone. So surveys quite good. Quite good. So we're just running through these, crushing through these at the moment. We're about fifteen minutes into our video now, so it's gonna be a longer one for sure. Alright, on to woodworker. Yeah, so there's the ethereal dust I sold 10 hours ago. <laughs> I love that Master Merchant's just now check, catching up. Hundred and seven five, and then yeah, uh, this ethereal dust that I'm showing on the screen now, you can pick this up from any any resource node. I think it it might be only enchantment nodes, but um, you can pick it up from just random nodes, including the surveys. So surveys are definitely worth it because 
I mean, how many people pick up one of these and go, oh, yeah, it's only worth 50k or whatever. Like, like somebody, somebody's selling one for 25k right now. So that's iffy. That is totally iffy. I'm going to go make sure that that's not... Make sure that's not still out. There's no way that it's a like dude selling it for 25k. I mean, it was 11 hours ago, and it was in Somerset. I mean, I'm just gonna go check and make sure this is, see if this is up here. And then I'll be going, I think I already did, nope, I didn't do my horse in this one yet, so I'll do my horse as I'm up here too. Don't merely be a visitor There's no person. way this is up for 25k. There's just no way. There's just no, simply no way this is up for 25k. Do do do. See, it's little stuff like that that you can make a lot of gold on. I mean, he's selling it for 25k. The next available seller is for 90k. So, somebody somebody made some decent gold because somebody wasn't paying attention. Somebody just simply wasn't paying attention. Somebody was not paying attention. I don't think it's in here. I don't think it's in here. Yep, and it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Goopy. I don't know why somebody would do that. Serial dust is expensive. Sell for 25k, you're missing out on 75% of your profit. Alright, and then usual, uh, pick this up here. Uh, we'll go for speed, it doesn't really matter. And then back by the duel guys. You want to you challenge, challenge me, me to, to a duel? How drove? But then, how can we have a proper contest? How can we have we a proper contest? Oh no! I passed by the ghost guys dozens of times in a week. One of these times, I'm just gonna go through all my alts and just do that quest, so I don't have to listen to those guys anymore. Oh, <laughs> uh, I can't believe somebody sold that ethereal dust for 25k. That's that's low. Lou, all right, and then let's just make sure. Yep. Okay, we got. Kind of getting sidetracked here. Kind of getting sidetracked. Talk to the banker. He's gonna pull out twenty-five, two fifty to go to five thousand. Ooh, Enchanter Survey. Bonus. Alright. And then pull out the banker once more. And then we're just gonna uh, add... Looks like 252597. And we didn't add that from the previous one too, so... Two five nine seven 
plus two, five, nine, seven. All right, we're up to 17K. I'll wait. I'm usually like waiting until this is done, because if I don't wait until it's done, I feel I feel like it just cheats me out of my XP. <laughs> Alright, we are closing into the midway point of the daily grind. If I hadn't went into the guild store to look for the ethereal dust, which I already knew was going to be gone, I was sad to see it gone, but I was hoping it would be. At the very least, we scanned the store, so now it's not going to be up on um, TTC anymore. TTC's website is the ideal place to find things that you were looking for. Instead of going from guild store to guild store to guild store, paying potentially significantly more than you could, um, you can find it for the best, cheapest price on TTC that is currently available. It also goes, you can also see... Um, just real real simple um, like when the last item was seen when it was how much it goes for what guild store goes for um, you just search Tamriel trading center uh, on Google and it'll pop up with the uh, website which you can search any item on any item on um, if it's tradable you can search it on there there is all of it on there and that runs, uh, I can, I will show you a little bit about how I kind of cheese that system a little bit at the end. Towards the end, I will show you how I potentially cheese that system. I feel like today's not going to be a great day for surveys, but it still gives you a good idea. Um, you know, I wouldn't want to have a crazy 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 good day of surveys and writs and then like have people come back to me a week from now oh, I did all my I grinded out my eight characters to do writs and I got crappy writs well some days you don't get a whole lot to be fair some days you don't get a whole lot but some days legitimately some days you get 100 plus thousand in the, in the day it's just a matter of the surveys you get, and a matter of the the bonuses you get from turning it in. So it's 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 a horse apiece because you're spending some resources, but the resources you're spending you should have quite a few of anyway. It's like I didn't get any surveys from that one either. I did get two thousand three hundred two thousand three hundred two uh, 2102. Oh. 2102 plus 17694. We're up to about 20,000. And I'll, I'll. So we are getting resources out of this. I mean, you see on the side here all the. All the different resources we got out of it. And you get we get quite a bit of random junk out of it, but all that stuff Ooh, goes crime. somewhere. I mean, well, whether I it's it selling the selling the rawhide to the vendor, selling the maple to the vendor, selling the oak to the vendor, selling the iron ingot to the vendor, because like it, they weren't. I don't sell the 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 refined materials for the most part on the guild store. Um, that my guild store space is usually reserved for tempers and for furnishings that I've created. So the, the refined materials like the iron ingot, the sand and maple, all that, if it goes for, um, in my rule is if it goes for less than six gold each, sell it to the vendor for four gold each and just free up the slot. 
sure you're you're kind of losing out on a little bit of profit there but the the speed of the sale being able to just sell it to the vendor for the four gold each instead of waiting for potentially 30 days plus to sell something for literally 400 300 gold profit more than you would just send it sell it to the vendor for you're gonna be better off just selling it to the vendor um if, if it's if it's cheap enough and if it's not worth selling it on the guild store um generally try to keep the guild store listings over you know over a certain amount because you only get 30 per guild right so um as you as you fill up those slots you'll start realizing what is valuable to sell and what is not valuable to sell um a lot of times the tempers and you know blue tempers purple tempers gold tempers they they sell significantly faster and more often than anything else significantly faster than anything else um, you can make and that's really where you make all your gold on is the gold tempers and the surveys because the surveys have you know obviously when you do the surveys you're getting a lot of raw resources that you can then refine on your main character to get even more profit which we'll, we'll be going through that um i'm, I'm kind of glad we didn't get many surveys today but some days i get eight nine ten surveys you know plus in the day um and then it becomes like an, an issue where you just got to spend the time doing the surveys because you go from way shrine to way shrine to way shrine teleporting around um, takes some time but it's worth it it's it's all worth it because like right there, like i said the ethereal dust pops up in the nodes on the map anyway and those can appear in surveys confirmed can appear in surveys you know i would i would person's 150 yeah uh. yeah so same deal again we pop open the banker he withdraws uh, the 250 gold that we spent on the horse the sip of stamina carrot soup and golden lager which completes two of our writs without having to do anything I've already crafted those items on my main and put them in my bank. Wow, we are just getting junk. Like I said, I'm kind of glad we're getting junk because it's it's proving a point that it's not going to be it's not going to be instantaneous gold, but it's it's steady gold, like just doing the writs every day. You know, some days you get lucky, some days you don't. Um, you know, some days you get extraordinarily lucky and get something like a an ethereal dust in your survey and you negate all the trouble that you went through up until that point. Uh, four, two, four, six, four. Up to 22,000. And another good thing, you'll see here that it gives you a lot of these intricate necklaces. So as you level up your crafters on your alternates, um, these intricate items all just get thrown in the bank. And then when you go on to a crafter that wants to level something up, you know, you just decon them as you go. Like I said, I'm glad I'm not getting a whole lot out of these. Um, this is actually a slower day for me, admittedly. Um, at this point, usually, generally, some like I said, some days are just like this, where you don't get much. Um, some days, I'll, I, I would have 10 surveys by this point, or 5, 10 surveys by this point. And those surveys are where you make all the money. 
So, I've only gotten one survey, but I've gotten two writs, two master writs, and you can make some decent decent gold on those, too. I just took the price of the writ and added it into the amount of money we made. So, we're on... We are on number five out of nine. Hopefully get lucky in these last ones. I do this just about every day. Um, most days uh, I'll do this when I wake up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, sit back, relax, crush through my daily writs. And then I save my surveys until later on in the day when I'm actually on the overworld questing. <clears throat> Some people save their surveys for multiple days in a row. Save up 20, 30 surveys and then do them. Which is fine. A lot of people do that. Um, I just like staying on top of it. I don't like... I get real bored if I'm doing like 30 surveys in a row, which I've done. I've done 30 surveys in a day before. It just gets boring. So I don't want to. I don't want to be a grind. It's. I don't want it to feel like a grind. This doesn't feel like a grind to me right now. We pull those writs off of there. Pull those writs off of there, and I. I am doing writs for all of the. All of the available surveys, including jewelry. Jewelry is. Arguably where you find the most gold. Um, you can get chromium grains just from doing base surveys. You get iridium grains. You get zircon grains. Um, you get the jewelry crafting surveys, which gets you lots of uh, refi uh, lots of jewelry dust. Lots of pewter dust or copper dust or platinum dust or whatever. And that's even more uh, chromium grains and such. So... Yeah, it's just a matter of matter of getting getting through the bad RNG to get to the good RNG. I think I kind of burnt up a little bit of my RNG last night with that ethereal dust that we found. Plus, on top of that, um, I had a pretty crazy night with uh, refining stuff. Just going out and collecting raw materials and then taking them to my house and refining them. Pretty quite a, quite a bit of tempers last night. So we're trying to. Trying to get back on top of it. Once again, we go back to our banker, open up our banker, and he withdraws the sip of stamina, bog iron ale, and chicken breast. You'll see that it shows the the number you have left in your bank, so you can kind of play it by ear and see, you know, oh, I need to go craft more of this, I need to go craft more of that. Wow, junk junk absolute junk on the bright side though um, each of the each of the enchanter surveys if it doesn't give you each of the enchanter writs if it doesn't give you a survey it gives you uh, soul gems so that's good all right we're gonna add the two one, two, one, We're up to 24,000. Yeah, I'll probably put this up on YouTube, but I'll probably just continue doing this same kind of deal the next few days until I get a good day. I mean, if I can get a, if I can get a day, a cut in a day that's more common than you would believe. I get a day where I make over 100K just on surveys. Um, that would be a lot more. You will challenge me to a duel. A lot no, more true. representative of, of what you're doing contest. rather than this 25k that I'm at. Like I said, some days you just got bad RNG. You just gotta keep crushing through it. Just gotta keep crushing through it. How can I? Here we go. Oh. I suppose I could get lucky on these last three, but I doubt it. 
I might get some surveys, but it's not going to be very good. A lot of it has to do with what level your your crafters are at too for their craft, whatever craft you're crafting the writ on. Um, max level crafters tend to have better drops than first tier or lower tier crafters. Which means today is also a sky shard day for me. So when I get done with this video, I'm doing all the all the video junk. Uh, post it up on YouTube and then I'll be doing sky shards today because I got a bunch of crafters that are looking to get leveled up. But then how can we have a proper contest? You don't even know. No, I'm know by the I always buy the ruling, stupid horse and I just rode away instead of <laughs> clicking the horse. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh speed. Speed. Some people are gonna be like, oh, why don't you just buy this buy the the writing upgrade from the crown shop? I'm like, cause I'm broke, man. Make all my gold in game and spend it in game. I don't I try not to spend a whole lot of crowns and actual money on the game. And yeah, sure I spend money on the game. It's not like I'm completely free to play, but <coughs> I try to do what I can to mitigate that. My significant other, my wife, also does uh, surveys too. She does surveys on four characters. She gets pretty lucky on hers as well. Um, even just the four character, five character, four. Yeah, she actually just made another character. So five, five characters. She does writs on. Um, she makes, you know, it's the same deal. I mean, it's all RNG. Some days you make more, some days you make less. I see we uh, I see we uh, picked up another iridium grain out of that last survey. I'm just looking for some surveys. I, I always always mix up the word survey and writ just because they're so synonymous for me. But the daily writs are what get you the surveys. The surveys are what get you the mo most of the money. I want to sell clam gall? I don't even know what. How much? How much? Uh, morbidly curious. <laughs> he's gonna see it like he's gonna see it like 2K. What do you want to? What do you want to bet this dude says 2K? Anytime somebody posts want to sell something and don't post the what they want to sell it for, you know it's gonna be bad. Same deal. Lazy Rickcrafter pulls all the provisioning and the alchemy stuff out of the bank. Hey, jewelry survey. That will be. That'll be good to do. You want you want some 1.6k per? Oh my goodness. No fucking way. <laughs> Good luck, bud. I'm not gonna ignore him, even though I want to. Speak. All right, jewelry survey goes in the bank, and then we add another two thousand one hundred and twenty-one. We're up to twenty-six. Mm 
and then we log out. And then I'm going to do the surveys on my main because he's a max level crafter and it's better to do them on him. Um, do the surveys on my main and then I'll be calculating out how much I've made. I'm assuming it's going to be around 50k, which, like I said, isn't a whole lot, but it's it's common. It's common enough that it'll happen. Um, if you're doing it among nine characters, you shouldn't make any like any less than what I'm making. This is definitely on the lowest side of the pool. Um, but yeah, generally, generally when I'm doing my writs, I'll get about a survey on every character, at least one. Some sometimes I get two on a character. So the fact that I've only gotten two surveys on seven characters now is pretty whack. But like I said, I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad that it's not as uh, crazy RNG as it usually is, just because I don't want people coming back to me and being like, oh, I did all my surveys and I didn't get anything out of it. Because that'll happen. I mean, I'm not, I'm not upset I didn't get anything out of my surveys. It's not like it hurts me any. It's all resources and materials that I wasn't going to use anyway. So I'm not worried about it. And you shouldn't be too. You got a craft bag. It is all good. You would challenge me to a duel. How droll. But then how can we have a proper contest? You don't even know the ultra code. Get off. Listen round. I have a warning to sound. Alright. Don't look away. We got two more characters after this? One more character after this? And one more. Closing chat because we're in Somerset. It's a starter zone for people, and yes, yeah, we all know starter zones are cancer for zone chat. It's terrible. It's not a. It's like people just don't have any semblance of what decency is anymore. That's not any concern of mine. I just close chat and ignore it. Same deal. Uh, four in the bank, twelve in the bank, fourteen in the bank. All right, let's start from this side. One lucky money blacksmith survey. All right, I'll take it. It's good. Jewelry survey, nice. See, this is this is seriously how it goes. Um, I just missed the timing wrong. I missed the timing by about fucking ten minutes, I guess. They just got two surveys off of one character. This is... that's how it usually is. You usually get about one survey on each character. Alright, so... Uh, add 2,121. 28,000. And we wait until that's done ticking.
You see, these characters are literally all potatoes. They, they, they got to level 6 and they started doing their writs, and they haven't really done much since, so. I think only two of my other characters have actually played on. <coughs> Alright, hopefully, hopefully we strike it rich and get like three surveys in this next character. Which I doubt, I fully doubt, but it's possible. Colonel Cerny Banders. This is the easiest way to make money that I have found. Is a chunk change. Right, continuing. And as you level up your crafters and, the, and their crafting skills get higher, um, you're able to do higher tier writs, which have more, more, uh, more opportunity for goodies. More surveys, more tempers. You get the idea. You get the idea, I think, at this point. Um, once we get the surveys done, we'll go through the surveys. I'll hop back on my main. We'll go through the surveys, and then we will wrap it up by showing you how I use TTC. And, yeah. It'd be... Uh, probably another, probably another 20 minutes, half hour. A little, little bit longer video. Ah, yes, pulled all of the provisioning and the alchemy out of the bank. You can also do the pull out of the bank with, with enchanting as well. Uh, small issue is they don't stack. So, there's no... You, you might as well just do it on each character. Then pull it out of the bank. Oh, got a tempering alloy. Yeah. I will take it. Destroyed by shadows. Could it be true? Ah, I got a tempering alloy. Which is awesome. You would challenge me to a duel. How drove? Come over then, here, do my horse. Gotta contest? get the horse done. You don't even know the Especially if you're doing daily reds. You might as well get the horse done because it's essentially free. Stick it right back in. You get the two Even two grand plus out of each daily writ. Stick two hundred fifty for into your horse. Would be worth it. How can I help you? All right. All right. Plus two thousand and two. Uh, Temporary ally, what? 4.5? 4. 4. 4. I'll say 4.5. 4. Uh, 30, 6, 2, 5, plus 4, 5, 35. We're going to see we're at 35,000, so. 
We're not doing all that bad. It's just an uncommonly low day. And that's and that's truth the truth about it is that you're never going to do less than like 50k a day. If you do eight characters, nine characters or whatever, you're never going to make less than 50k a day. I'm you're just not. You just it's really hard and you got to have really poopy RNG that specific day cuz your RNG is not going to stay poopy all the time. Trust me, you'll strike it rich one one of the times you do rits. So very uh very simple way to make a lot of coin very simple a couple add-ons a couple certifications to get started and then it's home free from then on out and the vast majority of the resources and the materials that you're using to craft these writs you get back in the writs or you get back in the survey so the very low tier materials, the tier one materials that you're using to craft all the tier one writs, you you get a lot of them back in the writs. I mean, you see that I get, you know, 20 maple Hello. in a writ. That's almost what I spent on it. You know what I mean? So, all right, we'll just uh, survey. And we got three surveys. We got two jewelry surveys though, so that is good. All right, well, we will deposit all these treasure maps. We got four surveys, because we got one on my main. And that is a very unusually low day. That is significantly lower than normal. Um, normally, after a day, this this uh, I have ten surveys in here. So... Yeah, I'm like I said, I'm glad because I, w I would rather it be uh, I'd rather post, you know, a video of doing a rather low day than post a day that I'm doing something crazy. And then, like I said, people come back to me and like, oh, I can only get I can only make 25K a day. Well, if you're making 25K a day and you're doing eight characters, um, probably need to just 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 work on getting the crafting levels up really um, getting the crafting levels up having a max level crafter helps one max level crafter can change the whole dynamic of the whole thing um, because you know you can use that crafter to feed all your other tunes all your other characters Um, that's what I do, is I use all the extra materials I get from doing my surveys, just all the, all the, like, platinum ounces, ancestor silk, you know, that crap. Instead of selling it, I craft now that the multi-craft is enabled for everybody. Um, I'll craft, like, 40, 40 ancestor silk apartlets, deposit them all in the bank, go on to an alternate tune... And then decon them all. Because as long as you don't decon them on the same character that you created in them on, you're still going to be getting just as much profit as somebody else does. So I, I do that because that will help me level up my other crafters as well. Why why is my auto... That kind of fucked me earlier. It's time to stop for some ancestor stuff. Get all of those. I hope I got all of those. Get lucky, get a kuda. Is this where?
apparently that's just a. Uh... Oh no. Oh, that's fine. Heavy sack? Heavy sack. Platinum seam, platinum seam. Don't move too fast. Move too fast. Kind of a cool little house, though. Oh, it's got a well? Wow. How much is this fucking place? Hammer Death Bungalow. actually see this place. It's not in the crown store, so how much does it cost? Not bad. Not bad for the nice little yard we got. No back door, but it's pretty spacious inside. Two lamps. Okay, interesting. Cool. <coughs> I'm always on the lookout for cheap houses. Found one last night that was really good. It had a yard and everything for 40k. I was like, wow. But we're saving up right now for a million plus house that we're gonna buy for her we already got my house done so I think I gotta go I gotta go over the top of it do do Dolman. Mini Dolman. The moral of the story, I think, is the majority of the gold made in the game comes from crafting. From some crafting and collecting. What is this? I mean, great. I already have... Oh, I'm actually only nine mages skill. Yeah. Almost there. This is this is this is a money shot here. This this is gold. This is a lot of gold. Like this is even just selling the raw the the raw materials is a lot of gold. Um 
We'll say selling the raw materials unless you have the max refinement perk on the character you're refining them on. You need to have that max refinement perk. You gotta have the extraction. I just got 40 out of one. Wow. Got to have that max refinement perk. Because if you don't, you are seriously kicking yourself in the balls. Uh, or in in the boobs. I, I don't know. Whatever, whatever, whatever you are, I guess. But you're kicking yourself pretty hard where it hurts. Because I know people that will refine their own materials. Refine their own materials, but no refinement perk. And then don't understand why they're only getting one tempering alloy out of a thousand raw materials. Whereas you'll see um, pulling tempering alloy and pulling the tempers, the gold tempers out of these raw materials. If you have that refinement perk, it's a lot easier. It's a lot, it's a lot better. It's a lot better. It's three skill points in every one. Um, it's going to be the best three skill points you spend in the game. In my experience, um, the refinement perk, I can show which one it is. So if we go to blacksmithing, it is metal extraction, maximizes the chances of extraction, blacksmithing ingredients, and allows refining of more powerful tempers from raw materials. So three, you need to have three out of this. If you're gonna be refining your own materials, make sure you have three on the character you're refining them on. Same with clothing, unraveling, it's the same thing. Enchanting, not so, not so important. Uh, the enchanting one's not so important, but the hireling's actually pretty good. Uh, jewelry extraction, same thing. You want to have three in the jewelry extraction. There's not one for provisioning, and then wood extraction. You want to have three in that one, too. So, uh, definitely want to be able to extract as much of that precious tempering material out of the raw resources as you can. These are good too. If you find these clother surveys in Craglorn, you can get potent and uh, you can get an crew out of it. The clother surveys especially, um, the only way you can get a potent urn crew out of potent, I'm talking about the potent urn crew now, is the furrier's traps. You can't get a potent urn crew out of the, the scraps box. What is going on up there? Oh, it's Dolman. I was like, what is happening? What is going on? All right, Craglorn, here we go. Last one is in Craglorn. No, oh, we're just gonna fucking teleport. We're not gonna teleport twice. We're not gonna teleport twice. I wasn't gonna teleport twice, but we're right here. The odds of us lending on that specific glacier on her slim. Crafting. It's all about crafting. You make all the gold from crafting. Crafting master writs, crafting food, crafting potions, crafting glyphs, crafting armor, crafting sets of armor. Um, you can... It, it's That's where all the gold's at. I mean... Last I, I mean, just something as simple as Hunting's Rage, which is only six traits. You can get six traits in as little as 30 days. Uh, you, those six traits can make you 8,000 on each one you craft. It's You can make a significant amount of money crafting. Whether it's crafting stuff for other players, or doing daily writs, or whatever. Come on, guy. Here we go. I guess 
it's up there. Sigi portals are really good, which is another good reason to have Somerset. Sigi portals are extraordinary for making gold. Alright, I have a feeling that this is not going to be ideal. Oh no, why did I get off? Oh no. That's why see me die. Alright. Well, I can totally, uh, keep running. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh, how? How? I don't understand. I don't get it. What? What just happened? I don't understand. It's, like, right on top of me. Is it? Uh, I don't even... Like, this is half the problem with the surveys, is just finding them. Which is reason why a lot of people just wait to do their surveys when they have a few of them. Alright, we're gonna go around the other way. I'm gonna go around the other way. Probably the way I should have gone around in the first place. There's other ways to make gold in the game too, like just playing playing the market. I mean, knowing what certain things go for and picking it up cheap and selling it just a little bit more than that. You can make a lot of gold doing that. Probably shouldn't pick that up. Oh man. Rip. Rip. No. Oh. Okay. I hate Craglorn. Alright, have any surveys left? Nope. Port to the home. And, like I said, this is a significantly lower amount of surveys than you would normally get from doing daily reds. On all your characters. I mean, I've gotten, I've gotten more than this amount of surveys on half the number of characters before. And been like, oh man, this is this is normal. <laughs> Should get about one survey per character. If it's lower than that, you know, maybe maybe I did it wrong. Maybe you should just take a break or not do the other surveys for a little bit. 
because it's just tapped out at the moment. I don't know. I don't know. There's there's obviously tricks to it, and there's things like I got 259 platinum dust. Uh, 259 platinum dust. So we will. Uh, -S -T. That's 18,000. That's 53,000 right there. Uh, 121 rubidite ore. That's another 3,000. I already had that chromium grains. We already counted the draw wax. Uh, 60 rubido scraps for another 1.5. I'm and I'm lowballing all of this because it's, it's going to be easier to understand if it's a reasonable number. I'll we'll next do plus 3.5. So we're up to 61,000. I know we got these copper dust from it, but I'm not going to count that. So about sixty thousand. If you were to, if you were to just do your surveys, and just do your writs and sell the. Uh, sell the raw material you get about 60k um fortunately i'm gonna kind of cheese it and refine this hopefully you get something good out of it jewelry is especially finicky oh we just got two chromium grains see <laughs> oh just got another chromium grain nice got three chromium grains said you gotta have gotta have the extraction you have to have the extraction cool three chromium grains three chromium grains worth about 7k a piece so we're at 60k so if we take chromium grains uh, 7.5 We just made some money there. All right, all right. So sixty-one minus the eighteen thousand minus the eighteen thousand from that, but plus the twenty-two thousand from the chromium grains, sixty-five thousand. 5,000 plus another 65,000 plus another 2,500 plus another 1,200 67,5 plus 1,200 68. So about seventy thousand. About seventy thousand. I mean, plus all the all the random crap I got. Not even done uh, refining yet, to be fair. So let's just keep refining and see what we get. And sometimes you get screwed on these refinements. It's fine. It all comes around. Well, actually, there, I didn't get any tempering alloy, but I find 120 rubidite ore. Below average drop rate, but that's fine. It all comes out in the wash. You don't have any wood to refine. 
it all comes out and then here's where some magic habits oh well, there we go So 68, 700 plus 60, I'll just do 6,000. 75,000. There we go. See, and then, and that's the thing, is that like, as you do it, you'll realize that a lot of this is just free income. I mean, it's legitimately free income. Um, there's not a whole lot that goes into it that's skill wise like there's it's if you got a max level crafter that can refine your own materials do it and do it with the skill point the three skill points in extraction i can't stress that enough i can't stress that enough so now we're gonna go on to the uh uh, workshop kind of part where I talk about how TTC benefits me and can benefit you. First of all, what you're going to do is in the add ons for Minion, um, you're going to want to get Tamriel Trading Center. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the add ons folder and uh, launch the client. Now, that client's going to have settings where it'll automatically launch when you launch ESO. And you can also log into that client too, so it'll it'll show your name on the website rather than just say community. Um, the client will run in the background of your game. I know lots of people that run the client. It hasn't nobody's gotten banned or anything for it yet. It doesn't change the game files in any way. All it does is read uh, if you're looking read a file that the add-ons putting out so then we come into here we can come to silk road uh here we go four chromium grades so we'll go one a piece do four of them six thousand seven seven thousand six hundred and then we can list all of them easy peasy uh go here Got two temporary alloy and list both of them. Pro X and list the one because that's all we got room for. Come into Walmart, list both of them. Come into Order of the Golden Moons, both of them. Your marketers. Rosin. That's both. We got all the stuff I have to list. You can list this other stuff too, like this turn grains isn't so bad. Those are con grains isn't so bad too. Because you get like eight of these, you do them two at a time, you get 2,000 each one. Not bad. And so when you're running the add-on, you're running uh, the client in the background, uh, it literally just says Tamriel Trade Center Client. It has a list of, it will start off saying updated guild store prices when you open it, when you load the game. And then as you add stuff to the store, and you'll see down here in the bottom, bottom down here, this scan all listings button. Now this will... Uh, scan the listings as you are doing whatever you you, you want to let this scan you don't want to press E because that quits it um, this will scan all the store listings for your particular guild 
and then you reload UI after you are done uh, scanning your guild stores and the Tamriel Trade Center client essentially loads all of those listings up to the website up to date with their prices and everything and then as they're all up on the website people look for on the website for things that are recent recently seen that's like the going thing is people will jump on stuff that's good price and recently seen so if you have it up for a good price and it's recently seen you can make some very fast sales doing this very fast um and 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 the the sales are really where the sales in the guild store are really where you get your gold um this Tamriel Trade Center client uh, works for other guilds too. If you have a guild store, this Tamriel Trade Center client works because essentially what it does is it'll post up on the website. Um, someone, uh, uh, and if you're logged into Tamriel Trade Center client, it'll show your name, but it'll say so and so uh, X item X time ago. X price at X location. So it even shows a location up on the website. So then when people are looking for a specific item, like clam gall is a clam gall is one right now because a lot of the all cast builds are asking for uh, recipes that require clam gall. So it's going for a premium right now. Um, if you post, I mean, I did this the other day. I posted. Two clam gall and stacks of two, six of them for 2k each. Um, posted it, scanned the guild store. By the time I went back to my house, they were all gone. Um, it had, like, when I reloaded the UI, they posted up to the website, and they were gone from the website. Somebody had went to the website, seen that they were up on the website, seen, oh, yeah, that's the price I want to pay, and they, they bought them up. And that'll happen more often than you would realize. Um... The scanning does take a little bit. You can see the progress of your scanning down here. You see I'm on page 33 of the guild store listings. Um, but it is it is worth it. And your guild mates will definitely appreciate getting the little boost in sales just from having their items up on the website rather than potentially not up on the website. Because there's lots of guilds that don't use the Tamriel Trade Center client and don't have their listings up on the website. And because their listings are up on the aren't up on the website, they don't have nearly as much opportunity to make the gold. Um, so yeah, I guess, I think that's about it. That's we're we're at about an hour and thirty minutes now. It's going to be a long video, uh, but hopefully I've covered everything and gone through my whole daily daily thing. You see that the guild store listing scan finished. Uh, and then what we do here is uh, forward slash reload UI. And I'm looking at my Tamriel Trade Center client now. It starts the scan, posting trades, and now I'll post all the trades from that guild up onto the website. All of the listings up on the website. You can do this for any guild that you look at. You can do it for other guilds. You can do it for random guilds. You can do it if you just... You find a guild out in the out in the middle of the wilderness that has a lot of great deals, but you don't feel like buying it all. Scan the guild. Let somebody else get it. It's all. It's you know. It's, it's a lot of it. A lot of it's the economy. A lot of it is how the economy works, and people are going to be looking for the most available thing and the cheapest thing. So, uh, Tamriel Trade Center client kind of helps both of those things. If you're looking now that we reloaded the UI for that store, um, I do this once a day. At least I go to my next store. This one's real small, so I won't reload the UI after this one. This this guild only has like four or five pages. You see it's scanning the guild store. And then it's finished. And then this one, these take a while, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video before these get done. But um, 
you'll see the these two the last two guilds that I have have about 56 pages 56 pages or so in them they do take a while but like I said it's I'm doing it kind of selflessly too because then at least my guild guild members will have their items posted up on the guild store too and guild gets a little bit more gold we get a little bit more gold you know kind of all goes around um, I didn't even cover the fact that you have a lot of ornate stuff to sell generally um, I guess I'll do that real quick. Uh, so we come into our bank. If you're looking... A lot of ornate stuff. Um, it would be all on the other characters. I, what I usually do is I just build up the ornate stuff on the other characters and then sell it. And you see that, you know, that's 175 gold that you're getting for just selling it. So those add up to, those are a couple, couple, two, three, four grand per day that you get from doing writs. But there's just a there's a lot to it. I think if you once you get the hang of it and once you get the kind of uh, once you get the the method to the madness, you you can make a lot of gold very very easily. Um, I'm sorry this is a longer video, but I hope I covered everything. Um, add me in game. Always down to chat. Always down to play. Uh, yeah. I got a Discord too, so uh, hopefully get some people in my Discord. We can get jam and do maybe do some trials or something. I don't know. I'm kind of a potato, but I'm trying to learn too. I'm good. I'm good at the market. Good at the good at the making coin, but I'm not so great at the uh, uh, the mechanics. I play on a TV. I'm kind of potato. Uh, my fingers don't do a lot of what they're supposed to do most times. So. Um, yeah, that'd be it. See you guys.